Welcome to our short action button tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the most out of using Halide on iPhone 15 Pro with our action button menu. You can use the action button in Halide in two different ways. First up, we have a really exciting feature called in-app triggers. In-app triggers lets you use the action button to open Halide when the app isn't running, but triggers a Halide feature you select when you're out shooting. Okay, to get started with this, make sure you have the latest version of Halide installed. Then, open the action button settings in your iPhone's settings app. Swipe until you reach the shortcut option. From here, tap on the drop-down, then select Open Halide with in-app trigger in this picker. You may have to scroll down a little bit. If you're having some trouble finding it, you can also tap the search field up top and just type Halide. Now that you've done that, the action button will already open Halide wherever you are, but you still want to configure your in-app trigger. So open Halide, then open Settings in Halide, and select the action button menu. From here, pick any of the options on the list. And after that, you're all set to get shooting with your action button trigger. Our second way of using Halide with the action button is more conventional. To set up Halide with a single press action, you can take the steps from the last tutorial. Simply go to Shortcuts and set it to Open Halide. If you're feeling like you're really missing the silent mode or flashlight toggle, however, we've added an option that might interest you. With Halide's shortcut menu, you can add a shortcut that will open a list of options when you press the action button. To enable this, go into the Action Button settings, scroll down, and tap Set up our Action Button menu. This will take you to a shortcut that you can add to your phone. Once added, simply go back to iPhone settings, enter the Action Button menu, and swipe over to Shortcut again. Select the Action Button menu shortcut, and you're all set. Pressing the action button will now open a menu with a mute toggle, flashlight toggle, rotation lock toggle, a camera, halide, and settings option. No need to pick just one. Okay, an important note here. Using this shortcut or any other setting in the action button menu in your iPhone settings will disable in-app triggers. The way Apple has designed the action button means that you have to use our specific open halide with in-app triggers shortcut for that to work. Sorry about that. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy Halide and enjoyed this update, consider leaving us a review in the App Store. It really goes a long way. Thanks again, and until next time.